Good morning and welcome to Car Life is Content and today we're going to talk about each of my cars. We're going to have a quick run through, talk about each of them, what's going, what's staying, whether I should sell one, whether I shouldn't, maybe what I should replace it with and just a quick rundown of each of them because I don't think I've done that yet. So let's start off, I want to say hello to my dog. Hello Rufus. Hello mate. Anyway, let's start off with uh, the Range Rover. Okay, here we go. Range Rover Sport Black Edition, which means it's triple black. Uh, black wheels, black paint, and black leather inside. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And what's also special about this car is that it is a hybrid. So it's got a battery strapped to a 2-litre petrol turbo engine, giving about 400 brake and 30 miles of battery-only range. It's actually really good. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you use it properly or fit into its use case you can uh, get a decent mpg i'm getting about 65 right now i've had it as high as 200. it's also my go-to car really uh it takes the dog no problems none of the other cars really can take the dog not the bentley not the uh, gt3 rs and certainly not the the m2 either um but yeah this car is just amazing i love everything about it it's got that luxury feel it's got all the tech it's a 2021 car one of the last ones of these made in this shape and uh yeah it does get looks wherever you go in it it's good it's a good car it's a good car it drives quite well it's no speed demon um it's got good acceleration but it doesn't go around corners but it's just got that high up luxury feel let's have a quick look inside so the later ones have the uh, digital dash uh, and the two climate control screens in the middle and the sat nav android auto and check this out it's a black edition so it has some extra features bloody fridge meridian sound system and also pan roof up there oh, i think the visor's closed at the moment but it does open oh. but yeah i mean it's just a good place to be really good place to be blacked out windows as well for that ultimate drug dealer look so yeah this car is staying I've had it for about 18 months now it's staying for another two years or so it's on a lease so it's just going to stay next up we've got bentley continental gt convertible now this car doesn't get a lot of love but i absolutely love it with the top down it just really really looks the part it's a good weekend car it's a good Sunday stroller, it's good for taking the wife away for a weekend, nice hotel or dinner at night or something like that on, on, of an, on a nice summer's evening. It's got that kind of sleek Bentley look about it. It's a 2016 car so maybe starting to show its age to some but to me it still looks great. It's got that carbon dash you can see there. Uh, sports exhaust, 4 litre V8 twin turbo, Mullen spec with the quilted seats there you see and a shadow back as well which means that all these chrome parts have been painted black got v8 it's a v8s which is better than the w12 lighter almost as much power uh, and uh, makes the car a bit more nimble painted the um, side vents black there as well and also the badges have been painted black on the back too this car is yeah it's good this car However, might be leaving, so not sure what to replace it with. It's got to fit within the realm of the total lineup because, um, as you can see, it's not an accident that I've got these th four different cars. Uh, you know, each of them has their purpose and fills a spot. So there's no point replacing this with a Hurricane, for instance, when I've got these two, which can fulfil 90% of that role. So something I don't know, Aston Martin or the newer Bentley shape maybe would be a good replacement for this. Let me know in the comments what you think I should replace this with and that might be happening maybe some point next year, maybe before. Okay, next up we've got BMW M2 Competition. This is one of my babies. I really, really like this car. Uh, I just think it's amazing. It's got the looks. Uh, it gets thumbs up wherever it goes. I think that's mostly the gold wheels to be honest. Uh, done a few things to this car. It's a late 2020 car, one of the last ones, again one of the last ones made. It's got uh, gloss black painted rear diffusers, uh, 
deflect to rear deflector delete. We've got the side badges there, which also gloss black. Uh, side skirts and front splitter and number plate delete on the front there. Uh, this car was also fully PPF from new, as is the Bentley is also PPF'd, uh, as is the GT3 RS. But this car is just, I love this car. Let's have a quick look inside. Inside we've got a few choice dry carbon additions, DCT gear surround and handbrake. Uh, same with the steering wheel trim just there and also door latch inserts which I really think sets it off. I was on a bit of a mission to um, replace all the black plastic on the inside with dry carbon. There are some third party places you can get that stuff from so looking at these parts next maybe. Centre console. And there's also some other surround bits down here which are plastic which can be replaced with dry carbon. This car has got the newer seats over the O2MG uh, and uh, yeah I love this car it's amazing. It drives so well. It's a good great B-Row blaster and occasional track day car. It's very good for track days where the RS is too loud so places like Bedford this car is really really good for where the GT3 RS will just get noised off. And that brings me on to GT3 RS. This is a PTS Voodoo Blue, one of three in the country. Uh, 2016 car, 991.1 RS. Haven't done much to this car. This is too good to really do anything to. It's got PPF all over. Um, ceramics, lift, 918 bucket seats in there. Um, yeah, haven't done too much else. Don't need to really. Classic Porsche feel, five dial dash, as I said, 918 carbon bucket seats, six point harness, roll cage in the back there, PDK on all of the uh, RS models after 2015. This car has also been treated to a um, Sharkworks cat back exhaust and it just makes it sound ridiculous, even more ridiculous than it does stop. Um, again, this car, mm, I really like it. I might change it, but I'm not sure what to change it with. Get in the comments about what you think I should maybe change it with. Um, as I say, it's got a fit in the role of what this does, so it's got to be an ultimate track day car special. Um, similarly priced. Let me know in the comments what you think I could replace this with. Okay guys, that's it. That's all we've got time for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about each of my cars. Uh, what should stay, what should go. Let me know. As always, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.